Our topic for today, possessive nouns. Possessive nouns comes from the word possessive and possessive means to possess something or we say to own something. So, when we talk about owning something, so instead of writing it in a big way, we shorten it and we use an apostrophe to just write down that particular possession. For example, now, instead of saying the bag of Gagan, we can easily say Gagan's bag. So this is what is called as a possessive noun. And how do we form the possessive noun? We use this apostrophe. This is called as an apostrophe. This is a comma which is written down. And the same thing when we write it up, then it is called as a apostrophe. So when we talk about Gagan's bag, Gagan is one person. So to show that the bag belongs to him, we will just put an apostrophe. In the same way, there are many rules that are there to be followed. We'll be looking at them one by one. But some examples to show that possessive nouns are to be used only for living things. For example, Gagan's bag. If we say the tail of the cat, we can easily say the cat's tail or time. A journey of an hour. We can just shorten it and write an hour's journey. So again, an hour followed by the apostrophe and S. We can also use it for heavenly bodies. Heavenly bodies, we also call them as celestial bodies. What we see up in the sky, the sun, the moon, the stars. Okay, so what can we say? We can say the sun's light or the sun's rays. So again, we're just shortening it. Now, you need to remember one thing that we usually do not use the possessive form for non-living things. In maybe in some books or in some cases, you might see them using it, but generally it is not used. And it will be recommended that please do not use them for non-living things. For example, instead of saying my books cover, no, book is a non-living thing. What should we say? The cover of my book or simply my book cover. The handle of a chair, you cannot say the chair's handle because chair is a non-living thing. So certain things you have to remember and like I always say there are lots of exceptions in English grammar. That is why it's such a beautiful language. But still certain things are more acceptable than the others. So this non-living things concept is one of them. But try to avoid possessives for non-living things. Now let us see how do we form the possessive of Singular nouns, the possessive of plural nouns, the possessive of irregular nouns also. So come on, let's have a look at it. When we talk about the singular possessive nouns, there are two forms of it. One is when the singular noun does not end in S. So it's very easy, whatever is the singular noun, you just add the apostrophe S. For example, if I talk about the bicycle of Nishan, I can easily write the word Nishant over here, apostrophe S and Nishant's bicycle. So very easy, whatever is the singular noun. Similarly, the toys of the child, the child, singular noun, apostrophe S and toy. And please remember to put this apostrophe a little high, okay? So the child's toys. In the same way, whichever singular nouns are there, this is the structure. Now, there are certain proper nouns that end in S. For example, you have got names like you've got James, you've got Ojas, you've got Paras, you've got Manas. Now, if something belongs to them, for example, we are talking about James' dog is jet black in color. Now, let us look at this particular case. Okay, now, when we already talk about James, it is already ending in S. So, when a noun ends in S, so what do we do? We do not put an apostrophe and then an S after that. We leave out this S and we just write the name James. After that, just the apostrophe and then we write James dog. Or if it is Paras, just the word Paras ending in S. Put an apostrophe. After that, we will not put another S. 
and we can write Paras cat. Now again in this also there are two ways of accepting it. Mostly and generally this is what we follow. But again there are some who prefer to use an S after this also. They can also write this as this. But we generally do not use it because then the pronunciation changes. James's dog. No, we just write James dog. It is understood. Similarly, Paris's cat. So for our convenience and to make things sound a little clear, we leave it out. But if it is being used, I wouldn't say that it is incorrect. But generally, what do we use? We use this form only that when it ends in S, do not add an extra S after that. Just put in an apostrophe. Now, next let us look at the plural form of possessive nouns. The possessive form of plural nouns also, we can divide them into two different types of categories. The first is the very basic, simple, when we do singular plural, we just add an S, isn't it? And the singular noun becomes a plural noun. So that is what we call just as the basic plural form in which the noun ends in S. Now, how do we write? When the noun ends in S, like student, students is the plural form and we are talking about the books. That means what we are trying to say is the books of the students. So, it is already plural ending in S. So, do not add an extra S immediately after the S over there. Just put in this apostrophe. And we have the possessive form. So, the books of the students is written this way. Students books. Similarly, when we talk about the collars of the dogs have the names written on it, have the names on it. So what do we say? The dogs is the plural form. Do not add an extra S. Just put in an apostrophe. So the dogs collars. Simple. Okay. Then irregular form. We've seen it. Irregular form. Man, men, woman, women, child, children, goose, geese, two teeth and so on and on. You can Watch the previous video where we've done singular and plural. So when we have that, like here we are talking about men. The clothing of the men. Men is already the plural form of man. So what do we do? The simple first basic rule. Apostrophe S. Men's clothing. So the men's clothing section is on the first floor. Similarly, children. Children is already in the plural form. So what do we do? Nothing, just add an apostrophe and S. The children's shoes are wet. Now, some more rules wherein we see how the different possessive forms are made. Now, let us look at the possessive form of multiple nouns. Multiple nouns means more than one noun. So, you can say in the subject part that is there, we have two nouns over there. For example, when we talk about a common possession, common possession means there are multiple nouns, two persons or two animals and they have the same thing. They own the same thing. So what do we do? The first noun that is there, that will remain as it is, Kavi. And the second noun that is there, that will take an apostrophe. So we say Kavi and Shalini's new car is red in color. That means the red car that is there. That belongs to both Kavi and Shalini. Okay. So first noun, no apostrophe. The second noun, apostrophe S. Now, when there are again two nouns and both of them, they own different things. Now, when we talk about own, it also means relationship. For example, if I say Raju's brother, it doesn't mean that Raju owns that brother. It's a relationship, but we call it as possession. So here when we see, we are talking about Yash parents and Rohit's parents. Different both of them. So Yash also will take an apostrophe S and Rohit also will take an apostrophe S. So Yash's parents and Rohit's parents are friends. Two different possessions. Now let us see the possessive form for compound words or words which are hyphenated. A small dash that is there. Let's see what is going to be the possessive form of these nouns. Compound nouns are nouns that are formed of two or more than two words. For example, the word sister-in-law is formed of three words. Okay. Now, when we talk about possessions, 
for compound word like sister in law we will say sister in laws my sister in laws husband is a doctor okay or my mother in laws necklace is made of diamonds okay now or when we have these small dashes that are there they are called as hyphen h y p h e n hyphen the editor in chief again after chief will come the apostrophe s office is very big so these are some simple rules that we need to follow when we are talking about the possessive and very simply if you say what it is singular nouns apostrophe s if anything ends in s whether it is a plural noun or if it is someone's name do not add two s's to it so immediately after the s in which the noun ends just put the apostrophe so when we remember these things it will be very easy for us to find out whether something is singular or whether something is plural or if the long form of something is given for example when we talk about the tails of the monkeys we want to form the possessive form how are we going to form it for that we should remember these rules so just let's have a very quick activity in which just few sentences are given and we will just identify whether the possessive that are given in those sentences are in the singular form or in the plural form so just let's have a quick look at it now as you can see the first one is the artist's painting artist apostrophe s that means it is just one singular person the artist so this is in the singular form farmers after the s that is after farmers there's an apostrophe so it is the plural form six months months plural apostrophe obviously it's in the plural form very easy the people's choice people is a plural form so it is plural and the elephant strung elephant apostrophe s so that is in the singular so this was just simple identification now we are going to move on to the actual activity round where you have to take out all your writing materials to note down the answers and in the next exercise that you have the sentence is given to you in the long form you have to write it in the possessive form so come on let's have a go at it answer time and all answers in front of you the pink highlighted ones are in the singular form and the blue highlighted ones are in the plural form so it is very easy the first that bag belongs to lena lena being just one singular person so the answer is lena apostrophe s similarly ronnie's sister yes the tails of the monkeys are very big monkeys plural form so after s no adding extra s just apostrophe similarly women plural so women apostrophe s teachers again plural so after s just a small little apostrophe and lion the paw of the lion so lion apostrophe s because it is singular so that's all for today in our class on possessive nouns just go through the video once again so that you are very very sure of the rules that are to be used whenever you see the possessive form so that's it until we meet again in our next video with another new topic is goodbye